Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. So today we have not brand new recipes, but I wanted this video to be a video to where if you love dump and go crock pot meals and you don't want to see the fails or you don't want to see me like trying um, new dump and go crock pot meals that I've personally never tried before, this is your video because I have six of mine and the kids favorite dump and go crock pot meals. These are our favorite go to we've made them or i have made them so many times over they love them i love them so very kid friendly for picky eaters because my kids are picky eaters and i hope that you guys enjoy if you do you know what to do go ahead and give it a big thumbs up don't forget to share this video and subscribe if you are new here there's like 80 something percent of you that are not subscribed so i'd love if you would subscribe and stick around and I will have a playlist of all of my other crock pot meals and videos if you do want to see some other ideas if you've never seen any of my crock pot videos before. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this video. Okay, so Dumb and Go crock pot meal number one that is an all time favorite has to be my Mississippi crock pot. Now when I go one, two, three, four, five, it's not necessarily in order, but I will say that this is definitely by far my most made crock pot meal. Me and the kids just love it. It's full of so much flavor and honestly like the second day is just oh, beyond amazing. Like the, as the days go on, the flavor just gets even that that much more and more and more better than I don't think that made sense but anyways all you're gonna need is a chuck pot roast I try to usually get the one that's like lower in calories it's like five or uh, fat like five to nine I forgot that when you do Walmart pickup they don't look at the back and they don't get you the lower fat one even though that's what I picked up when I was online shopping. But anyways, you are gonna need a chuck roast. You're gonna need a packet of ranch. You're going to need a packet of onion soup and dip mix. You're going to need some pepperoncinis. And you're also gonna need a stick of butter, but I think I'm gonna cut that in half, especially since this one is so much higher in fat than I, how I usually do it. So, I mean, and I would also recommend just go ahead and get the one that is lower in fat because you're cooking it in the crock pot, which means it's going to be incredibly tender as is. You know, usually if like if you were going to cook it any other way, I would definitely suggest to go in the higher fat. But I'm going to go ahead and get the stick of butter, cut it in half, and we're going to see if it's as flavorful with just half a stick as it is with a whole stick. So that is what it is looking like. Oh my gosh, so delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop the lid on. I'm telling you guys, if you have not tried this, you truly, truly, truly need to because I've not met a single person that does not like this. And my kids are somewhat picky and they just adore this. So I'm getting a little bit of a late start, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on high. Cook it on high for about three hours and then I'm gonna knock it back to low. Um, this is one of those things you wanna cook it on low for like eight, six to eight hours or cook it on high um, four to six. I do suggest that you don't cook it on high entirely the whole time though because I feel like with this kind of meat, it makes it not as tender, so. So this cooked on high for about one hour and then it's been cooking on low for six. So this is what we're looking like and you guys see how it just like literally falls apart. Oh, it is so delicious. This is dinner. We just have the Mississippi crock pot roast and then we have some asparagus that I did in the air fryer. I just seasoned it with some lemon juice, salt, pepper, and then I topped it with some Parmesan cheese once I plated it. So that's Kentrell's plate, Ava's plate. My plate, they don't like mashed potatoes, and I had some mashed potatoes left over, so I went ahead and finished them up. So that is what this meal looks like, and like I said, it is one of our favorites. Tried and true. If you guys have not tried the Mississippi Crock-Pot 
gross eating yet, then you seriously need to. I'm not even kidding. It is bomb and delicious. So we're going to go eat this and I'll see you for uh, best of the best crock pot meal number two in a few. For this next dump and go crock pot meal favorite of the favorites, this is by far one of the easiest crock pot meals ever. I call them great jelly meatballs, but someone actually commented and actually gave them the actual real name. They were, I think they said invented by like, it's Betty Crocker's recipe from like 25 years ago. And I believe they said they're like appetizer meatballs or something like that. I will put it up on the screen because I did not know that. And I thought maybe you guys would be interested to hear. Oh my gosh, these have a lot of fat in there. Wow. <laughs> I did not realize that. I thought they had less fat than this. Um, okay, so I usually take the turkey meatballs. But this time around, I just went ahead and I took the Italian style meatballs. You can do any kind of meatball. I actually got, they gave me the wrong one. I really wanted, I didn't want, because this one is like beef, pork, water, breadcrumbs, all these other kind of spices. It's not going to change the taste of them at all. It doesn't matter. But I would say just get a regular bag of meatballs. I need to go cut this, so hold on. Oh, my scissors are right here. Okay, so yeah, literally just a bag of frozen meatballs. And you guys have suggested so many different things. You literally just dump them in the crock pot. That's it. I mean, this is the simplest, simplest recipe ever. Um, and then so many of you had recommended instead of doing the chili sauce, which by the way, does not have any spice to it whatsoever. But um, a lot of you suggested to um, substitute this and do barbecue sauce. So I'm going to obviously use chili sauce because this is the recipe that is my favorite that I know is tried and true that I've made that my kids just are so happy whenever they hear I'm making this. So I'm going to do it the regular way. Um, but do know that people have suggested because I have had a lot of you ask and I know I'm really slack on my comments. Oh no, but I'm trying to get better about them. Um, but a lot of you have suggested like, or requested, hey, what are some other things I can do other than the chili sauce or other than the grape jelly? So here we have a 18 ounce jar of grape jelly. I'm just gonna open and pour in there. Um, some suggestions on things that you guys could do other than grape jelly is a lot of you had said cranberry sauce and a lot of you had even mentioned doing the whole cranberry sauce, like the cranberry sauce with the whole cranberries in there, which again, I think would be so delicious, but again, my kids are not fans of cranberry sauce. So grape jelly, it is for me, like I said, I'm just, I know this is tried and true. My kids are obsessed with this and we're just gonna do it the regular way um, that they know, and which I know they like. So yeah, it's literally that easy, you guys. You don't even have to mix this up. If you want to, you can. You don't have to. You literally just pop the lid on it. You can turn it on high for like a couple hours. You can do it on low for like four hours. This doesn't, I mean, everything is fully cooked, so it really doesn't even need to cook that long. So I'm just gonna pop it on low probably let it cook for about four hours and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done and I'll also show you what I'm gonna serve this up with tonight. Okay, so here is dinner. Um, these meatballs were definitely a lot fattier than I prefer and that I like. Um, so I would definitely not recommend that you use the Italian style um, because that one has like pork and beef and it's just, it's too much. Uh, but this is what it looks like. Doesn't it look delicious? I know it's going to be delicious, it's just, Meatballs are definitely more fattier than I would like, like I already said, but we are just, just went ahead and added some green beans and they're just these little steamed green beans that you throw in the microwave. So that's my plate, that's my daughter's plate, and that is my son's plate. Favorite of the favorites, crock pot meal number three, dump and go, is going to be queso chicken. This stuff is so delicious, highly recommend. Um, you can do so many things with it. Put it over rice, put it in some taco shells. That's what I'm going to do tonight. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, we're going to get into it. You're going to need half a cup of chicken broth. 
you're gonna need two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast, um, or you can do thighs, whatever. Um, you're gonna need some taco seasoning. You're gonna need a jar of Tostitos salsa con queso. And that's actually gonna be for later. We're not using that until the end, um, but that is something you're gonna need. It actually calls for four out for a four ounce can of these chopped, if you will please focus, there we go, chopped green chilies, but I like this flavoring really a lot. <laughs> really a lot. I like this flavoring a lot, so I'm gonna go ahead and add go ahead and add this seven ounce can, and then we're also going to add a can of rotel. You know the deal, put it on low for four to six to eight hours, put it on high for four to six. Just gonna let that sit and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Um, 30 minutes before you are ready to eat, you wanna go ahead and add this whole jar of salsa con queso, which I will show you guys. Um, and then you put it up on high, cook that for 30 minutes, and then you do you shred the chicken and do what you will with it. Um, so I will show you guys that when we get to it. This is what this deliciousness looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and shred this. I'm gonna use this little thing to shred the chicken. This little is this little thing is like a hamburger chopper, meat chopper, whatever you want to call it. I will link it down below. Um, you can get them at Amazon. Some of your local grocery stores might have them, but you just want to shred the chicken. And you can also do this with a hand mixer, but I don't have one. And honestly, it's so simple to make this way. I wouldn't even get it out if I did have one. I mean, the chicken is literally so tender, it just falls apart. So from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and add my full jar of salsa con queso, if I can get it opened. Nice and mixed together. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on high for 30 minutes and then I will show you what or how I plate it up and what I'm gonna eat this with and how I'm going to eat it. And dinner is served. So I just have some of this queso chicken in this little bowl. I've got some shredded cheese, some sour cream, some grape tomatoes, and then I have three taco shells. So instead of like making and assembling tacos, I'm just gonna kind of dip, 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 and then eat those different, or like separate. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. It is delicious. This makes a ton of food. And do you guys see how shredded that chicken is? So delicious. So, so, so delicious. Like I said, this is obviously my favorite crock pot meals. So this one is tried and true. I've made it several times and I cannot wait to have this for lunch tomorrow over some quinoa or some rice or some couscous or something delicious like that. Yum, yum. This one's one of my favorites. It's like a tortellini tomato soup and oh my gosh, it is so delicious. So what you're gonna need is a can of crushed tomatoes, a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes or petite dice. It, the recipe calls for petite dice but I just have crushed so that's what we're using two cans of tomato soup. You want one pound of sausage browned up. I did that last night. And this is the chicken sausage from Publix and it's the Greenwise brand. Oh my gosh, it's so delicious. Best Italian sausage I've ever had in my life. So yeah, it's some Italian sausage and that's what we're gonna be using. One 32 ounce container of um, chicken broth. I always do the reduced sodium. This is what we're gonna need now. 30 minutes before you start cooking, you're gonna need a package of frozen or fresh cheese tortellini. And then the recipe calls for two of these containers, but I'm only gonna do one, and it's the chive and onion cream cheese spread. I'm 
going to turn it up to high and just throw in this 19 ounce bag of cheese tortellini. And then also, the other difference that I'm making to this one versus the last one is I'm going to go ahead and add in this whole container of chive and onion cream cheese spread. So this is what this deliciousness looks like. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm telling you, if you did not try this and see that first crock pot video, you need to try this soup. It is so good. And I just have mine um, with a spinach salad on the side. I just have some light Olive Garden Italian dressing. I cut up some veggies, cucumber. Oh, I should do some olives in here. That would be good too. Bless you. But I currently just have some cucumber, grape tomatoes, and carrots cut up. I have a couple of pepperoncinis on the side and some croutons. And then these are the kids' bowls. And they are having grilled cheese on the side with their delicious tomato soup. So we're going to go enjoy this and we will see you for our dump and go favorites crock pot meal number five. Dump and go meal number five is, oh, of course, one of our favorites. Um, and we're so excited for this tonight. So it is taco pasta. And what you're gonna need right now is one pound of ground, uh, browned up ground beef. Um, I always use the lean. You're gonna need one can of uh, drained corn, one packet of taco seasoning, one can of diced or crushed, crushed tomatoes, a cup of salsa, and two and a half cups of chicken broth, or you can use water. I highly recommend that you use the chicken broth though because it adds so much flavor. And then towards the end, you're gonna need some pasta and some cheese, but we'll show you that once this is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump all of this in there and we'll get this started. I have made different variations of this taco pasta on the stove top and on in the instant pot and this is by far the most flavorful and the best so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on low let it cook for six to eight hours or you can do it on high for four to six and I will show you what it looks like and then we'll put in the pasta and the cheese when it's like 30 minutes before we're ready to eat so I'll see you then it is now time to add our pasta, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it on to high. I have a variety of pasta here. I have this ditalini, and then I also have these little pasta shells, and they also have like little corkscrews, but I'm just using what I have in my pantry. Yes, I know that this called for 12 ounces of pasta. That's the other one. Um, and yes, I could have shopped for a pasta to be all one shape, but I knew that I had a bunch of open boxes in my pantry. So this is what we're going with. I'm gonna go ahead and stir this. This is going on high for 30 minutes, and then after 30 minutes, you just pop the cheese on, stir it in, and we'll be ready to eat. So I will show you that when it's all done. Oh my yum! This makes so much, so much food. Like legit so much food. Here's my portion. I just have a little spinach side salad or spinach salad on the side with some tomatoes, cucumber, spinach, light olive garden dressing, and some croutons. And here's the kids. I just topped theirs with cheese, of course. The thing I love about this taco pasta too you can top this with what you would talk a uh, top tacos with lettuce tomatoes tortilla chips sour cream um cheese like possibilities are endless hot sauce like this is so good so i will see you guys for the last of my favorite crock pot meals that i've done this so far um i want you guys to go down in the in the comment section and comment 
and let me know which one you think is my favorite and see if you're right um, because and you'll get a little prize if you're right you get a prize so if you guys have been watching my crock pot videos you might know because I really raved about this one I was like oh my gosh it's so good so comment down below make a guess and whoever guesses all out of all of the guesses I will pick a winner and you'll win a little something um, just as a thank you so yeah let's uh, we'll go ahead and eat this and then I'll see you guys for our last dump and go favorite crock pot meal which that one will be number six if you guys guess taco chili then you guys will be entered to win I don't know it's gonna be a gift card of some sort maybe to Starbucks maybe to Dunkin Donuts I don't know but we're gonna go ahead and talk about what you're gonna need for this taco chili oh this stuff is amazing of course it's in my favorites so what you're gonna need is one pound of ground beef I go ahead and brown mine up put them in the freezer um, and you're gonna need one and a half cups of water four tablespoons or more to taste I say of ranch seasoning packet of taco seasoning can of diced tomatoes can of corn um, a can of green chilies the diced green chilies can of tomato sauce and three cans of chili beans you do not want to drain anything and like I said in my previous video where I showed this video or this recipe for the first time this is the only time I'm gonna tell you to not drain anything especially when it comes to beans but you want all of the juice and all the deliciousness and this is by far like one of our favorites um, this is definitely our favorite like quote unquote chili Turn this baby on low, cook for six to eight hours, cook it on high for four to six, you know the deal. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how long this has been cooking. It's 5.15 now, maybe I started about 10. Maybe it's been seven hours, maybe it's been eight, maybe it's been nine, I can't remember. But that's the beauty of soups and chilies, let them cook cook them all day, cook them for four hours, whatever. This is so delicious and like I said, highly recommend you guys. We are about to chow down. Um, I would treat a taco chili like I would, would a regular chili. I have some tostadas right here because I don't have any tortilla chips or I would totally use those. Some sour cream, some cheese to the kids. I really don't like cheese in my chili, but they do. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a bowl and show you kind of like how they each look in the bowl. But this is something I highly recommend. Obviously it's in my favorites, but yeah. Delish, delish, delish. Like I said, kids have cheese on top of theirs. I have some sour cream. This is so good. Highly recommend if you guys have not tried this yet. So yeah, this is our last one for this video. And that will do it. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, like I said, tried and true. Every single one of these six recipes, me and the kids love. I've made them countless times in the crock pot and we just love them every single time and it always goes so quickly. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Again, if you did, you know what to do. Go ahead and give me a big thumbs up because that helps my channel out more than you guys will ever know if you are new here or if you've been watching and you haven't subscribed, if you would love, if you would subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. I'm trying to reach 50,000 by the end of this month. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but definitely by the middle of February, I wanna be at 50K and we are so close y'all, so go ahead and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Also, I have a playlist, like I mentioned in the beginning, of the intro.
playlist is down below of all of my other crock pot meals and videos if you guys they're all done and go by the way so all done and go crock pot videos if you guys are interested it's also going to be like here on the little eye so love you guys and i will see you in the next one bye